We're here now. We're here. We're here. We're clear. Brain rot. You guys want to watch some brain rot? Here's some brain rot. Some literal brain rot. Every brain rot explained in eight minutes. Sigma. The Sigma male phenomenon has surged in popularity, captivated by its association with independence, self-reliance, and nonconformity, offering an alternative narrative to the traditional alpha, beta, and omega male archetypes. It's a kind of rebellion against the rigid hierarchy of masculinity, where alpha and beta males reign supreme. Unlike the alpha, the coined lone wolf of the digital age, a Sigma male does his thing, flies solo, and doesn't follow the pack. He's like a giga ASMR. Chat. ASMR, which stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, is a pleasant sensation that some people experience as they respond to specific stimuli, such as soothing sounds or movements. People oh, so the ASMR in itself is the feeling that people get from listening to it. It's not... Ah... Oh. People with this brain rot spend several hours a day obsessively consuming online ASMR videos. This type of behavior can neg- I guess that's why some people don't get it. I don't know. I like inherently I knew what ASMR is. Um like overall I know that it's like it's like this entire thing. <laughs> but the 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 Moving on. ...negatively affect the quality of sleep, concentration, and even personal relationships. Riz. The term Riz. Riz refers to the ability to attract attention, and it comes from the word charisma, with an unusual word formation structure. It initially emerged in youth culture and slang, quickly spreading through mm -hmm. platforms mm -hmm. such as TikTok and other social media. Dude, when Riz first emerged, it was so fucking stupid. I thought it was so fucking stupid, but now it's, now it's in the literal, literal, literal everyday language. And ironically, I heard I could use the phrase with the Sigma last night. No! It's Jove. It is Jove. Ayo. Oh. Hey, <laughs> in 2023, the use of this term has increased significantly, peaking in June 2023, when actor Tom Holland was interviewed about his Riz. I have no Riz whatsoever. I have limited Riz. The context hey, of the word is important. If someone has W Riz, it means that someone has lots of Riz, while L Riz is the opposite. But if someone's got an exceptional amount of Riz, you might be referred to as a Rizzler. And if you're able to charm Chat. people without- Chat, am I a Rizzler? I can't wait for all of those. Even trying, oh. people might even tell you that you have unspoken Riz. The Not term has Dennis gained official Elris. recognition in the linguistic world, having been included in the Oxford English Dictionary. Yet. Wait, what? Said Yet. to be a cryptic abbreviation of goddamn, the term is usually used when observing an attractive woman, typically oh. online. Let's it is also used on a scale in which the lowest number refers to the absence of a butt, and as the numbering increases, the <laughs> maximum size of the butt itself is reached. Mewing. Not just a slang term, mewing. mewing is a practice. According to the American Association of Orthodontists, mewing is touted as a do-it-yourself facial restructuring method where an individual presses their tongue against the roof of their mouth to create a okay. tighter and slimmer jawline. It doesn't do anything. What? That doesn't do anything. Fuck. Like... I get like it's what my tongue does by itself, right? Like the like the natural position for the tongue is to be upwards in the mouth anyway. Like the only thing I can do is like um like mm, 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 mm. like like I don't know how to explain it. Uh Holding the cheeks in, I guess? It's predominantly used in situations where one is asked a question, particularly by a teacher or parent, and one prefer not to answer. In response, he simply say, mewing indicating, meaning, I can't answer your question right now because I'm mewing. I'm working on my jawline. Grimace shake. McDonald's introduced its new milkshake, sparking a viral trend on TikTok where users pretend to suffer a gruesome fate after yeah, tasting the- Why? Why was that shake. a thing? Grimace, the McDonald's mascot understood. since 1972, has been reimagined as a demonic figure by what? Gen Z. Videos of teenagers drinking the shake and saying, happy birthday Grimace, before experiencing Lovecraftian madness and purple spattered demise, have garnered millions of views on TikTok. McDonald's social <laughs> media fuck? director, Guillaume Huynh, 
debunked rumors that McDonald's initiated the trend. Indeed, Grimace Shake TikTok trend started after McDonald's launched the Grimace birthday meal to celebrate the mascot's 52nd birthday. According to him, the trend was independently initiated by Austin Fraser when he posted the TikTok video that made the trend go viral. Only in Ohio. The trend oh, no! originated from a meme Ohio on Tumblr wrestler. dating back to 2016, when a user started the meme Ohio vs. the World by posting this photo. Ohio Obviously, the, the caption referred to the bus stop, but the post what? sparked a series what in the actual fuck is that middle picture? What the fuck? What in the egg? Wait, there's a cheese slice too? There's a cheese slice too? What the? Series of memes and trends. Nowadays, people create absurd images or scenarios that ironically imply that strange or bizarre events only happen in Ohio. With the widespread sharing of these memes and the current population of Ohio, it would seem as though the entire global population resides in the state, like 99% of the global population. Obviously, this is not possible and serves as a clear demonstration of the challenge in reconciling perception with reality. Phantom Tax. Wait. Phantom Tax is oh, an wait, internet slang one? term describing I the theft of like this one I heard about, but this one I had no idea what this food is. Food between friends. The first usage of Phantom Tax referred exclusively to streamer Phantom, who jokingly taxed snacks by taking bites of food from fellow content creators during streams oh. on the broadcasting platform <laughs> Twitch. In an interview with Wired, Phantom defined the term as, let's say your friend's having a meal. He's having a good meal and you just want a piece of that meal. Like, okay, you know what I'm it. saying? Okay. You need a share. That's your friend and the friend's share, right? Get you a little piece My of the meal. It's the Phantom Tax. Updated. You just go ahead and just like, let me get a little bit of 5%. 10% of the meal, maybe 20%. Misinformation. Okay. Misinformation okay. represents one of the most widespread okay. and harmful brain rot today. Okay. Many people tend to take information they read online as absolute truth, in the fitness Ooh. and wellness space in particular. There are numerous influencers who proclaim themselves as experts without having the necessary <laughs> Eating air makes you lose weight! <laughs> skills or licenses. These individuals may spread harmful or unscientifically proven advice about losing weight or improving fitness, putting the health of those who follow them at risk. There are also extreme cases where people share completely wrong why, or dangerous why does the information. One kinda like look the like shaggy? Is that me or does the middle one kind of look like shaggy? There are also I don't know what it is. Extreme cases where people probably. share completely wrong or dangerous information, like the video that proposed drinking borax, which is a cleansing chemical, as a way to aid digestion, is a clear example of dangerous misinformation. Jesus. Of course, following such advice can have serious consequences for people. Uh, one other popular one was, I guess, that was spread on TikTok is that you could charge your iPhone if you put it in the microwave. I guess that one was very popular. Very dangerous People's too, health. yes. Social media. As one scrolls through social media, there is a machine working behind the scenes, analyzing every interaction to create a detailed profile yeah. of who individuals are and what interests them. Some this profile back, is then used to shape what each person sees online, COVID. influencing purchasing decisions and personal beliefs. There is nothing inherently wrong with this, as long as individuals are aware of the existence of this algorithm and can therefore I approach agree. online information with greater skepticism. It's clear that social media... That's, that's what I agree with. Like, inherently, there's nothing wrong with social media. As long as you know how to use it. Platforms are becoming increasingly adept at capturing attention, achieving this through the clever use of content known to be irresistibly engaging. From relaxing ASMR videos to captivating Call of Duty gameplay, from pimple popping to food preparation. Dude, or more pimple like popping is so disgusting. Who actually likes pimple popping videos? Is there anyone here that actually likes pimple popping videos? I don't get it. Uh, bro, to me that shit's so disgusting. That is so disgusting. I do want the internet to be tailored to my taste so it's good uh-huh that is disgusting yeah your wife really what the heck they also cut chicken on night full oh um, i i heard i heard about that one i haven't seen it but yeah fillion likes those videos what the fuck fillion <laughs> it's gross it is mostly women from what i hear really Ugh. i'm really not like the other women huh i'm really not like the other woman. I'm really just one of the guys. <laughs> surf or geometry dash. These are just some examples of what we can define as satisfying videos. The reason why these videos work so well in maintaining attention is because they tap into the emotions of each individual after the data analysis we just discussed. And the more time spent online, the more data platforms collect, further fueling the algorithms that shape what is seen and how it is seen. Yeah. Mukbang. It involves mukbang. people obsessed with watching Bro, mukbang, I can't. videos I, where disgusting. individuals eat disgusting. large amounts of food or binge. This type of content has Biggest one? 
What's this name? What's this fucking name? Nicaro Avocado. Bro. Bro. Nicaro Avocado, the joker of the new generation, man. It's become particularly popular on social media, oh, with videos attracting something. millions of views. For some people, watching these videos can become an obsession, leading to excessive and uncontrolled consumption of food or distorted attitudes towards nutrition and the body. Looks. I honestly have not paid attention to what he said, but um, they've become so popular. Uh, mukbang videos are especially popular in Eastern countries because a lot of them, uh, they became popular because people were lonely and they wanted to have someone else uh, eat alongside them. It's like kind of trying to replace that social interaction that you're missing. It's, it's dinner company, yeah. Mukbang. It involves people obsessed with watching videos where individuals eat large amounts of food or binge. That this type that of content is. has become particularly became popular, popular on social media, with videos attracting millions of views. For some people, watching these videos can become an obsession. Leading That's why it became popular in the Western standards. Like, more in the West, I think it's more people making fun of them kind of thing, like Nicado Avocado. ...to excessive and uncontrolled consumption of food or distorted attitudes towards nutrition and the body. Looks maxing. Looks maxing is a term used to describe looks a person's maxing. efforts to enhance their physical appearance. Chef, are you looks maxing? prevalent within the incel community, where it refers to various techniques employed by this incels to attain chef. what they There's... perceive as an attractive appearance. An incel, typically a heterosexual male, is someone who desires a romantic or sexual partner, but is unable to find one, often attributing their celibacy to external factors. The term maxing is derived from the gaming concept of min-maxing, which involves players maximizing one aspect of their character at the expense of others. Other maxing I'm terms include social maxing, focusing on improving social skills, and money maxing, social aimed at enhancing financial status. Le Am I stream maxing? Am I stream maxing in that case? <laughs> Less extreme forms of looks maxing, sometimes called soft maxing, include soft changes in maxing. diet, regular exercise, supplement usage, Rest and adopting skincare right and hair care routines. More invasive methods, known as hard maxing, may involve steroid usage, plastic surgery, and procedures like hair transplants or hard removal. Mixing. Skibbity Toilet no! Skibbity Toilet is a machinima web series of YouTube videos and shorts created by Alexei Gerasimov, which is a form of animation created using video game engines. The series follows a fictional war be Bro, there is actual between human-headed toilets and humanoid characters with electronic devices for heads. Skibidi Toilet's popularity is Bro. mainly being driven by children under the age of 13, and it's the what first the meme fuck? that members of Gen Z are lamenting not understanding because they're too old. Yeah. The majority of Skibidi Toilet fans are young, and when combined with the show's unsettling aesthetics and violence, this makes it perfect fodder for a new moral panic over how the internet is poisoning children's brains. I heard that the lore of Skibidi Toilet is actually somewhat in-depth, and I'm scared. I am scared. A lot of parents have documented their kids becoming obsessed with Skibidi Toilet, often displaying upset or anger when restricted or banned from watching it, or even mimicking the behavior of the Skibidi Toilet. Sherlock, down. Oh my god. Russian authorities are reportedly oh investigating the series Wait, for what? its harmful effect on children, adding to concerns Hello? about its impact. If you like this format, check out this video. YouTube thinks that you'll like it. Join the Discord server in description to discuss this video. Damn. Yo! Every brain rot explained in eight minutes. What, every, wait, that's the one we just watched! No, it's not! What? Huh? Huh? Alpha male. Alpha males are men- Sigma. What? What's the difference three months ago? And this one? Two months ago? The fuck? It is different words, but it's the same title. Well, let's continue. Alpha male. Alpha males are men who challenge the norms imposed by society, firmly believing in their personal discipline. They see mm -hmm. depression as an excuse and attribute everything that happens in their lives to True. constant determination. Pressure can be good, but just being happier. And I think that any man who's going to sit there and say, I'm, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. He also needs to wake up and understand that if you're going to truly struggle to not click on a website, then you're going to deserve the terrible life you're going to live. I unironically have a handful of people in my YouTube comments that are believing in the Matrix and in, uh, what's his name, Andrew Tate. And like, someone in my comments said, Akitsu didn't wake up yet. 
once you wake up, you will notice how lonely the world is. Jesus. Also in the Discord? Wait. Where? What? Petition for Kitsu to watch every Skibbity Toilet episode? <laughs> Maybe we'll put it on the, um, uh, on the Sabaton goals. So thanks to their discipline, they always push themselves to the limit to achieve their goals, so as not to be crushed by others. The brain rot comes with mogging, which is a slang term derived from the acronym AMOG, which stands AMOG? for alpha male of the group. Wait, what? This refers to the behavior of dominance or mogging? intimidation by one individual towards this. another, often aimed at asserting their power or status within a group. Backrooms. The backrooms back is a fictional rooms. concept found. first mentioned in a 2019 Fortune. Did you know the backrooms were found? And thread. They are commonly depicted as an extra-dimensional space containing large expanses of empty rooms, to which accesses without clipping reality in certain areas. Some people think the back rooms are real, but there's no place you can they actually go. Found. They have been but it's found. fun to think about and theorize. Internet users have expanded the concept of back rooms, introducing concepts such as levels and hostile creatures that inhabit back rooms. Back in early 2022, American YouTuber Kane Parsons dropped a bunch of back rooms short films on YouTube and they blow up. Starting Jesus. the brain rot through the cash cow channels that exploited children's oh characters God. to gain greater visibility. Wait, what the forgetting fuck? Forgetting that their videos are not really suitable for that type of the public. What the fu in okay, fact, it is possible to notice that some Where videos went very viral Where and did what? not generate many reactions from Where the users. Where? I think this can be explained constant, in two ways. Either a correctly. video with purchased views or by an audience that does not have the opportunity to share their reaction. Uh, the back rooms? Where or are? I think in Wisconsin and it was a furniture store. Brain rot mostly affects kids who, drawn in by their favorite characters, stumble upon a horror short series what that might scare or upset them instead. <laughs> the in fuck? fact, videos in which the title, What If a Kid Enters in a Back Room, appears are very viral. Followed by videos of Shrek style what monsters, Shrek? Skibidi Toilet, Poppy no, Playtime, no. Grimace Shake, and even Geometry Dash. Wait, what? Gooning. Gooning. Gooning is an act where an adult platform addicts use edging practice for hours on end, yet do not achieve the happy ending for weeks or months, nor do they want to. So, it basically describes a person who has been totally consumed by this type of video addiction, and isn't all that interested in escaping that cycle. Hence the term goon, since at this chat? point the man effectively looks like a chat? silly, foolish, or eccentric person. While this definition may explain what the trend is about, it doesn't necessarily explain why so many people feel comfortable talking about their brain <laughs> rot. It's possible that, in an effort to destigmatize the concept of adult content, these users are discussing their habits and have invented a new word to describe it. So when you see the term referenced on TikTok, that's what people are talking about, whether you want them to talk I about it or not. I love Calvin and, and Habs. Dude, I love that channel. They're so funny. They're so funny. They do a lot of German and American comparison shorts. I love it. Term referenced on TikTok, that's what people are talking about, whether you want them to talk about it or not. Lobotomy Kaisen. It Wait, is a what? state of Jujutsu Kaisen fans that comes out Wait, whenever the weekly serialization of the manga is on a break. During such a break, due to the lack of weekly manga content, the normally crazy users of the subreddit reach new and untold heights of craziness. Wait, the what? most popular memes are the nah I'd win trend and the stand uh, yes, crowd you're strong I trend. Remember. The reason why nah, the term I'd lobotomy win. is used is because the actual medical procedure was aimed at severing the nerve fibers. Therefore, with the name, fans joked that the manga's fans were going crazy. Some fans even argue that lobotomy kaizen isn't a state anymore, but the fans have become perpetually lobotomized. Oh, Imposter Lubao. Sus. Sus no, is a slang term sake. originating from the popular online game sake. Among Us. Sus it's short for Among suspicious us. and is often used to describe someone or something that seems unreliable or questionable. In the game, players employ the term to discuss their suspicions about the behavior or sus. actions of other players. Over time, Sus has become more widely adopted in online sus? gaming and internet culture what the to describe anything that appears dubious or shady. This obsession has become so oh my prevalent God, I see that it influences the, I see people's it. thinking, no, with video game no, characters being no, depicted in absurd situations no, regularly. No. Munting. Munting is a derogatory term used to describe someone as unattractive. Munting? It is used to refer to an object or person as broken, ruined, significantly oh, damaged, okay. disfigured, or deformed, okay. often to the extent that it is not reversible or repairable. The I origins of the okay. term are quite disturbing, as munt is a variation of necrophilia involving two live people and one dead. It consists in finding and digging up a semi-decomposed corpse. Then one person goes down on said corpse, whilst the other like jumps on the dead person's stomach, causing the juices to be forced from all orifices. Yes, decomposed organs. These are what then the drunk by the person orally connected wow! to the corpse. I might say that it's no coincidence that someone used the term munting to define foamy regurgitation. 
Lobotomy uh, dash. Lobotomy, lobotomy dash, dash refers to a set of user-created geometry dash levels that share the common theme of brain rot. <laughs> this trend reached its popularity after the release of game update 2.2, which added new features for the level editor. Use I remember that that was huge on Twitter at one point that geometry dash got a new update. And I've never even heard of ge geometry dash at that point. User Ghost McKee uploaded a level titled Lobotomy Dash, an edited version of the original Stereo Madness level to which more triggers have been added, including normal face jump scares, sped up and fuck? slowed down time, and the screen getting pixelated. What the fuck? The level reached over 200,000 downloads and 20,000 right likes now? in a week. Well, As the level went viral, more users uploaded more lobotomy levels over the next few days. Levels, Many of the edits the of the fuck? default levels featuring visual oh, distortion, oh, Jesus. tempo changes, oh. jump scares, and most notably, the new fire in the hole sound effect. Wait, fire what? In the hole! Wait, what the, the fuck? success was such that even the developer of Geometry Dash, Robert Topala, used the fire in the hole meme in That's Twitter professional posts. professional players? Baby Gronk. Baby, Baby Gronk, Gronk is the nickname of Madden San Miguel. He's a 10-year-old potential football player and influencer whose name refers to right. NFL player Rob Gronkowski due to his size. His Wait, father, what? Jake, has always raised him as an athlete, keeping him on a controlled diet and taking him to meet celebrities. What the fuck? While the boy was in elementary school, his father began posting him on social media calling him a future football star and that he was planning his son's life before he was born, so preparing him grooming? for a career in the NFL. Isn't that he immediately became grooming? very viral on social media, especially thanks- Like, is, wouldn't this be literally- Grooming in the end? Or am I mistaken? Am I am I delusional or isn't this literally grooming? Like Like chat, tell me if I'm delusional. I'll accept it. I'll accept if I'm fucking delusional in this case, but it sounds so grooming to me. More like child abuse, I mean grooming is child abuse. Like literally shaping him to be the way he wants to be. Like, seems icky. It is, but he's sports star, so they, the world does not care. So, so I'm not delusional. Thanks to Hoopify, who made a seemingly embarrassing video of Acceptable Baby Gronk being sort of rizzed grooming? by Livy Dunn when the two met in a collaboration uh. video. There are those who argue that all this leads to worldwide success and a high earning of money at an early age, which almost makes one think you that can Baby Gronk your own child? could be yes. more successful. You can. You can grip your own child. Very much so, actually. Very, very much so, actually. ...full in life in the world of social networks, rather than for a real career in the world of football. And as if that wasn't enough, among the child influence... Chat, you don't understand. Grooming doesn't need to be inherently sexual either. Like, grooming is not inherently sexual. I think that's uh, where you guys have a little bit of misconception in this regards. Uh, but, but. has added Big Justice, known for the We're the Kotzko Guys video made by him and his father. He's even Gro Grooming ain't really sexual, it's a manipulation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a manipulation. It's like literally shaping him, forcing a certain lifestyle down the child in the end. Just the most talked about because it's the most disgusting. It means to groom into something. Yeah. Challenging baby Gronk via online videos in which he shows that he has more strength and talent than him. Oh. <laughs> All this is creating a real viral wave of content driven by thirst of fame parents who try to make their children successful by exposing them to the world of social networks at an early age. But the real Gronk has had enough. Cook him. Grooming seems to be defined to be specifically sexual, just looked up. Where have you looked it up? Because grooming in the end, uh, in the end, the original term from grooming was like as a pet grooming itself. Like where exactly have you looked it up? Several sources? All right. From what I understand, it doesn't need to be inherently sexual. A uh, grooming definition. Uh, the practice of preparing or training someone for a particular purpose or activity. That is, here's the original meaning of grooming. Here's the original meaning of grooming, and with that in itself, it's... Nothing sexual.
Uh, here it is in German. This is sexual grooming, but this specifically would be sexual grooming. This is... Uh, can I turn this one into English? This one just goes into the sexual one. Uh, let's see what I mean. Um, sexual grooming is the action or behavior used to establish an emotional connection with the mind and sometimes the child's family to lower the child's inhibitions with the objective of sexual abuse. Well, yeah, the sexual one. But children who are groomed may experience that the, uh, it can occur in various settings, including... Uh, <laughs> Changing meaning. Nonviolent offenders. Online offenders. Criminal offenses. Als Grooming wird die gezielte Kontakt auf neue Erwachsene mit dem Missbrauch ab sich bezeichnen, in dem stufenweise ihr Vertrauen ersichtlich wird. Das englische Wort Grooming, Striegeln, Zurechtmachen, Vorbereiten, bezieht sich darauf, dass dem potenziellen Opfern zunächst geschmeichelt wird oder ihnen Geschenke gemacht werden, um ihr Vertrauen zu erlangen. Geschieht dies im Internet etwa in Chats oder in sozialen Netzwerken? Spricht man von Cyber Grooming. Cyber Grooming. Does this have an English version? It doesn't. Interesting. Interesting. Oh. Melon. <laughs> Dang thirsty. The main problem nowadays is too much time spent in front of the screen in children's shows. Coco, Coco Milan's Malone bright color palette and high saturation rot. levels contribute literal to sensory overstimulation, rot. exacerbating negative effects on children's cognitive development. This dynamic style is designed to capture attention. Oh my attention. god, the and baby coming in. One of the most alarming in. consequences of Coco Melon's influence is the phenomenon of Coco Melon zombization. Kids often enter a trance-like state when exposed to its content showing signs of hyperconcentration and agitation when the show is not playing. And when parents try to limit exposure, children may exhibit irrational behavior and show obvious signs of mood swings. I've never heard a Berliner, Berliner accent before, which sounds uh, surprised me. Okay, with me, on top of me having somewhat of a Berlin accent, I also have an issue pronouncing S sounds. I also have a slight um, lisp, I guess is what you what you call that. I'm not entirely sure, but I do have a slight issue pronouncing S sounds like Kirsche, Kirsche. I, you know, the two words like eight minute uh, countdown. Yeah, we still got some time. Kirsche, Kirsche. Those two words are pronounced differently, like Kirsche and Kirsche, and I will always pronounce them. Uh, the same way for long periods so there is this, also the yeah, risk of reading a real viral oh my god it's not berlin specific that one that's me children shows coco milan's bright color palette and high saturation levels contribute to sensory overstimulation uh, designed to capture on of coco melon zombization yeah. kids often enter a trance-like state when exposed to its content showing signs of hyper concentration and agitation when the show is not playing and Let's when parents try to limit exposure quickly. Children may exhibit irrational behavior and show obvious signs of mood swings for long periods. There is also the risk of real miseducation, since some episodes present situations in which kids refuse to brush their teeth or eat vegetables, Wait, what the fuck? negatively influencing the behavior of the children who Wait, watch them. Wait, what the them. fuck? Coco is so edging. bad, man. Edging, oh my god, here it is. Edging involves starting play with yourself, then changing the oh intensity, oh or stopping god. just before reaching the maximum soon. pleasure, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get starting soon, to increase chat. intensity we'll again soon. after a small delay. And soon, repeating soon, these soon. steps and cycles. Anyone can use edging to increase the intensity while done. others may practice it to make their activities last longer. It is generally a safe practice and unlikely to have any detrimental health effects. Well, there you so go. Edging in itself edging is not a brain rot. What made it a brain rot are the memes of the fake Microsoft tweet in which there seem to be particular subliminal messages. If you like this format, check out this video. YouTube thinks that you'll like it. Join the Discord server in description to discuss videos check out his stuff i do like the videos that he puts out i do like those videos